Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday. It is about 12.30 right now. I just came out to my car. I'm taking my lunch break from work right now, but I just wanted to start a new video. I have been talking so much in my past few videos about how I'm just inspired by like all things fall right now and I want to do as much fall content as I possibly can. And I think for this week I want to do a vlog based on like Halloween prep. Just all things like spooky season themed. So in this vlog I want to talk about like what kind of recipes and things I'm preparing to do for like when everyone comes over to our house to do trick-or-treating. We're also having a Halloween uh, themed lunch on actual Halloween day at work and I want to make like some type of like fun like recipe maybe like an appetizer or dessert. So I'm going to be looking on Pinterest for some ideas for that. Also making sure the kids um, Halloween costumes are all ready to go and I also want to do some Halloween nails. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for this video. So if you like all things fall, especially like spooky season, Halloween, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and give me a thumbs up down below so I know that you like that kind of content. But so to start off, the first thing that I want to do that's Halloween themed or spooky season themed is test out this um, Alani new energy drink. I feel like everybody has been talking about this. It is the witch's brew flavored so it's like Halloween theme. It's got like spider webs and skeletons and snakes and all kinds of things on it. So apparently it is caramel apple flavored and that doesn't sound too appealing to me and I'm really not even an energy type person but being that it is Monday um, Spencer is out of town for work pretty much all this week until Thursday, so I'll be, of course, have the kids all by my lonesome this week, so I'm going to need all the caffeine and all the energy this week, and I've heard this is really good, despite it being, like, kind of, like, I guess not a usual flavor, I guess. So we're going to try this out now. Kind of give me a little pick-me-up for the second half of the day here. Actually, it's almost like the smell, the smell definitely smells like it. It's almost like a sparkling apple juice. Not too sweet. It definitely does have kind of like that Red Bull-esque aftertaste. I've never tried any of the Alani News at all, but I just like, I just really, I guess, wanted to try it because it was like Halloween themed. But I don't know. It's pretty good. I think if you like are an energy drink person, you will like it. It's not my favorite thing, but it's fun to try. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this before, if you like it, or let me know like what other flavors of Alani knew that you do like, because I know it's a really popular brand. A lot of people like it. If anything, hopefully this will give me a little bit of a boost to get through the rest of the day. But that's kind of what I'm thinking for this video. We'll do all the like Halloween prep things and maybe planning to do something else like fall themed this weekend. I've really been liking trying to get the kids out to do like uh, like pumpkin patches, like those kinds of things, just getting in the spirit. So I'm thinking probably when I check in next, I will be setting up some more decorations at home. So I did get a few things I showed in my last vlog, and then I actually got a little something else today. So I think probably next we'll do more Halloween fall decor at home. So it's much later now, but I wanted to check in. I just finished doing my little Halloween nails and I think they came out so cute. So these are um, by Kiss Impress Manicure. I'll show you a close up of these, but they have like pink sparkles, little ghosts, little bats, and then little pumpkins. Uh, I think I got the pumpkins on this hand. Yeah, so I think they came out really good. So I took some time to do that. And then I did set up, I feel like my house is just like in chaos right now, but I guess that's just life when you have two little ones. But I did set up some of my fall, like Halloween type decorations. So I will take a second to just show you quick, kind of, I think I'll continue to play around with like where I'm gonna have them, but here's just what we have so far. Well, I think it's a little blown out from the lighting, but this little neon ghost was from the dollar section at Target and just have it set up here with these three little pumpkins. I don't know that 
these will stay here but i didn't hello honey so this was a little set from aldi i got this is just like a couple of dollars for this pumpkin like fill or gourd fill they're really pretty and cute and this is just kind of like a charcuterie board but i just obviously this is not going to stay on our coffee table like where the kids play but it does look pretty i just might find a different home for them and then this honestly this garland i'm not obsessed with I really like the idea of like the lattes and the pumpkin pie slices, but like I can't even get it to stay. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm not obsessed with it. I just think I might return it or find another home for it. So I'm going to do for tonight. I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go to bed and then maybe tomorrow or whenever I get some things set up more so how I know how I'm gonna like them, then I'll check back in and try. Now, it's been a few days and I haven't really done anything differently with the decor. The one thing that I did get, or two things I did get, was this pumpkin. Um, in my last vlog, I talked about how at work we were doing like a boo, like Halloween gift exchange. So this was actually the present that I ended up getting and it's really cute. It's like blue glass pumpkin. It goes perfect with our decor in here. And then this candle I did pick up from Target. It's like the cement, like plaster. So it's like shaped like a pumpkin. Um, it's in the scent Pumpkin Woods and I had another one in that trio set in that same scent that I really liked. So I got it in this shape. And I like that it has like the flickering like wood wick. That's the only thing I've really done differently with the decor. I did put these little pumpkin filler things up here. I did have them on the coffee table, but the kids have already really been enjoying playing with them. So I think I'll con have to just continue to move them around. But anyway, so now what I want to do is kind of show you, I guess, a collective haul of things I've been acquiring um, in getting ready for actual Halloween. So the first thing that I want to show you, I found these really cute paper plates and napkins from Home Goods. And so when people come over here for trick or treating on actual Halloween, we're just going to order pizza, keep it super simple. But how cute are these plates that I found from Home Goods? And I've got the matching napkins, so go perfectly with that. And then because these, as you can see, they're super thin, but they didn't come with very many plates. So I found these ghost shaped ones too. And I feel like this is going to be perfect to like hold a slice of pizza. And I think the kids will like them. And then the napkins that match these. And I just really love like that cutesy, like pink and white ghost or pink with white ghost theme for Halloween. Like I got Collins that pink dress with the white ghost from Target. I don't know. I just think it's super cute. I just, I don't like like the traditional like real like scary like spooky halloween stuff so i like like the cutesy stuff like that and what i already had left over when i think is going to go perfectly with this stuff because like the eyes and some of the things on here the eyes on the ghost are like that holographic so these cups were left over from luke's birthday party so i'm just going to use these because i think they match perfectly and i think i mentioned this in the last vlog I got these little boo straws from the dollar section at Target. I think these would be perfect for Collins and Maddie to use on Halloween. I think they'll really enjoy them. I also mentioned in that vlog that I did get, and this is also what I gave my person for the boo, these Halloween hand towels. So I'm gonna put like one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen. I did get more candy corn and candy pumpkins and I'd be lying if I say I didn't already break into this one. So I got some more candy because I like to have candy and bowls when we have people over. So I haven't decided, or maybe I'll just do both. I have this like holographic skull mason jar that I got in a dollar spot from Target last year. And then also I've had this pumpkin bowl. I think this is a hand-me-down for my mom. I've had this for forever. So I'm gonna fill up probably both of these with the candy corn and candy pumpkins. And now I'll put it on the screen here. So the one recipe I'm really excited about that I think I'm going to make for Halloween night for the moms if you will i think i found it on tiktok it's a recipe for monster mash mimosas you add a little bit of shimmer powder which i already have from like baking different recipes cake decorating in the past melon liqueur so i think like midori maybe something like that and then the champagne and i also i mean it was like slim pickings by the time i went to target but i did get halloween sprinkles and then some icing i got orange and white i'm actually using it for something else too to do like the rim with the icing and then the halloween sprinkles so i think it's gonna be really fun for the moms to have on trick-or-treating and our trick-or-treat is halloween night so it's tuesday and i'm acting like it's not 
a work and school night, school daycare night, but you know, we, we got to go all out for it. So I don't know when I'm going to have time to put all this together because I'm also working that day, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out and it's going to be really cute. And then what I'm also going to, I think, use um, the icing and the sprinkles for, for work, I had mentioned we are doing like a Halloween luncheon and I think I'm going to make a cookie cake. So I got some ideas, some inspo from Pinterest, which I'll show now maybe doing the cookie cake and then like a border like decorated like maybe like little icing pumpkins or just piping a border and then doing some of like these halloween sprinkles so something simple easy to do but also festive and now i did say how we're just gonna get uh pizza for trick-or-treat or halloween night but i don't know depending on how much time i have i am thinking of doing some other like maybe one appetizer just to have and Maybe that will end up just being like chips and dip or cheese and crackers, something like that, super simple. But the ambitious side of me would like to do something like creative Halloween theme. So I'll put um, my Pinterest board, some of the ideas I'm looking at up on the screen here. And hopefully if this is up in a decent amount of time before Halloween, it can give you some ideas, but hopefully maybe you can give me some ideas of what I can make for that. Then Collins' class is doing a little Halloween party as well. We signed up to bring something in and, you know, I read her off what was on, like they had written out like suggestions of what to bring. And so she decided that she wanted to bring juice boxes. That's what she said she wanted to bring. I actually ended up taking her to Target and pick out the juice boxes that she wanted to bring. These are the juice boxes that she picked out. I really like these for the kids. I always get these for my kids' parties. They are the hint water for kids. So they're in juice boxes, so they think they're getting like a juice box, but it's really just flavored water with no sugar or anything in it. Of course, she picked the purple one, so the grape flavor. And then she also picked these ones as well. These are the Honest Kids Strawberry Peach Juice. So they'll have a flavored water option and an actual juice option. Now, I wanted to take this a little step further. So I'll show you on my Pinterest board. I was looking up ideas of kind of to make the juice boxes more Halloween themed, do something a little more creative. I think I'm gonna do this for Collins and Luke's class. So, or I don't know, I'll play around with it. I found these in the Halloween section of Target, these little like spider rings. And then also, they're like Easter eggs, but they're jack-o'-lanterns. So I thought for Luke's class, since he's one, he's in the one-year-old class, it'd be cute to do just, cause like Luke loves to play with his toy eggs or Easter eggs when it was Easter time. Maybe just doing, giving them each a jack-o'-lantern Easter egg. I know it sounds really like simple, but, or dumb, but I really think like the kids would like playing with them or even putting one of the spider rings in the egg. So putting these together. Or even doing the same thing for Collins' class. And I thought about even maybe like tying an orange ribbon around the juice boxes with one of the spider rings like threaded through it. I don't know. So those are just kind of the ideas I'm playing with. I saw some ideas for like decorating juice boxes on printers to make them look like mummies or wrapping something around them to make them look like different like Frankenstein, pumpkins, those kinds of things. But I don't know. I feel like the mummy thing and the googly eye would be a little too much and I don't want risk like a kid like swallowing one of the googly eyes i don't know so i'm gonna do a little little extra something but those are just kind of my ideas so far then as far as the halloween costumes go we were waiting on luke's costume but his finally came in so collins picked out what she wanted herself and luke to be and she's been saying for forever that she wants to be a dinosaur and she wants luke to be a monster fine Perfect. And I think these costumes that we found are great because I worry about with the costumes, like, you know, you have a great costume, but then are they going to be cold when we're actually out trick-or-treating? So I feel like these are going to be cute, but also keep them warm. So here is the dinosaur costume that she got with a little hood, of course, complete with the tail. And then this is Luke's monster. I don't know if it's like exactly like, it looks like Sully from Monsters, Inc. I don't know if it's really what it is or it's like a little like knockoff Amazon version of it. 
But anyway, these are both from Amazon, so I think these are gonna be perfect and keep them both super warm. And the last thing I got, not super exciting. Um, I had the hardest time and maybe I waited too long. I could not find, Collins already has one, but I could not find like a trick or treat bag for Luke. Not that he really needs it yet. He's not gonna be like getting candy at one year old, but you know, he'll, we'll probably push him around the neighborhood in his little car that he rides in. And I think he's just, it'll be fun for him to have something to hold. But so I did get him this, this was $1 at Target. It was pretty much the last thing I could find that wasn't like huge. I don't know how to explain it. I wanted like a bag that was like slouchy. So it would just like hang like it wouldn't, like a lot of them were like, like structured like this shape, but fabric. But I felt like the candy would just like, they would drop it and would fall out. So I felt like something slouchy would keep it in. But since he's not really gonna be getting candy yet, I thought this for a dollar would be cute and it'd be cute for pictures. So that's what I went with. So I think that's gonna be it for the Halloween prep. I think, you know, I didn't wanna like go over the top with anything, but I did wanna do like some festive stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to film um, at least the finished products of me, you know, putting together like the Monster Mash Mimosas, the desserts I do and that kind of thing so you can see that. So again, if this video hopefully goes up in time, please let me know in the comments down below what you think would be good, easy yet festive ideas I could make for um, trick or treat night or for the parties, things like that. And let me know what you're making. I would love to get some ideas and inspiration. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. But I hope you have a very happy Halloween, a spooky season, and I'll see you in the next one.